All right, some Bigfoot stuff was asked, so I'm going to play Bigfoot. I tend to practice more uh, play Lightning Rod and Orion lately, and uh, so uh, I don't record many uh, boring Bigfoot shots, but uh, since uh, it seems it could be useful, let's do some. All right, here, first things first. That's flat-ish, oh, no elevation. And 1.2 rings from max. Or a ring from pin, sorry. I try to go slow here. Sometimes I go too fast and it's hard to follow. Now I like to be roughly set up before I take the wind read. Because, see, I'm going to play this as a two shot view, so I know it's going to be about three, three point two, something in that range. Now I straighten things up because, you know, if you're like crooked like that, your read for the the, the wind direction is off, so I have to take the time to be at least behind a hole. So 3.6, and I call that a 5, 5 o'clock, yeah. So what did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, it's here, I want to change. So, 270, mm, yeah, I'm off. Oh, that's better, 312. See, knowing, expecting something can tell you if you made a mistake uh, at the other step, I know. With a semi tailwind, I was going to be around like three rollout, three something, so I knew the numbers were wrong. So here we go 312 and 312. What a coincidence! Sure, it looks like 320. Gonna move in a bit closer, but not too much. Way I play it, usually it's like front edge of the cup at the mark, like 112, like this. Now, before I take my read on the shot view, I want to be as straight as possible. Obviously, it's not a race. You want to do everything right, but everything you can do faster can help you time-wise with the rest of your life or um, more rounds you want to play. So try and be fast and efficient doing everything, but don't skip any part of the process. All right. So I uh, try to put the first bounce in. Uh, the hole on the same line, same horizontal horizontal line. That's why I like to have a, a line in the middle there. I try that uh, different places, and it's the best for me to get a proper read on the shot view, so I leave it like that. Now I take uh, a zoom so I can see properly where Where I see, ah, oh, dang it, not like that. I want to use this to show you, like, I see it all the way there, but I know it's coming down all the way close enough to the line. Maybe a bit could be a tiny bit closer. So, 
yeah, it's, yeah, I have to put it in, right? Ah, oh, what am I doing wrong? All right. Anyway, what I'm trying to show you guys is that the arc of a Bigfoot shot is from the 78%, it's pretty much always downward and it's always about the same distance or close to it. So it's easy to read, much easier to read than a uh, Pegasus. Um, how can I do that? Make it like that. My brain is not working properly now. Sorry about that. Here we go. Can I get it to where I want to? Oh. Okay. Back to square one. Here we go. So, like, you see it's coming down, and we know it's going to continue to the line. As the Pegasus, the line's going to be more like that, so the part we don't see is longer, and it's a thinner line, Pegasus, so it's really, really hard to read, so that's why I stay away from that club as much as possible. Um, all right, so we have a, a two-shot view. The green is pretty flat. It's going to roll up to 312 with the tailwind and the pull is 312 as well on the flattish green no need for adjustment like pretty boring stuff but if i miss i look like an idiot the thing is if i miss i'm not going to show you guys haha <laughs> that's the kind of fucker i am I usually do voiceover as well. You know, I wait to have a good shot, then I do a voiceover and try, try to add some more dimension. But uh, live, uh, the time saver, and for something like this, I think it's gonna be good enough. So I set up at 212, pull across the middle, 312, and see if I'm full of shit, or if I'm, if I'm talented. Looking good ish. Good enough. Boom. Mm -hmm. 